Meet the female oscillated wrasse, her mate who has made a nest from algae, and the sneaker male who wants to fertilize her eggs. But the sneaker oscillated wrasse may be disappointed. But the female can influence which males fertilize her eggs, even after they've been spawned into the water, a new study suggests. The research looks at how the female oscillated wrasse can improve the chances of a preferred male sperm fertilizing her eggs. Sneaker males, which tend to be smaller, try to join a nesting male and female with the intention of fertilizing the female's eggs. They don't court females and nor do they intend to provide parental care. Female oscillated wrasse, on the other hand, prefer nesting males, which build nests, court females and care for eggs. The ability to choose a mate for egg fertilization was thought to be limited to species with internal fertilization. But this paper shows that the females increase the chances of a preferred mate's sperm over freeloading males to fertilize her eggs even after she's released them into the water. The study, published in Nature Communications, demonstrates that the females can control which sperm fertilizes their eggs by producing an ovarian fluid that surrounds the eggs. The fluid helps nesting males which produce fewer but faster sperm than sneaker males. Whether a male is a sneaker or a nester depends on early growth differences. Sneaker male behaviour is quite common among insects, fish and mammals, says co-author Suzanne Alonso, a professor at the University of California, Santa Cruz. The way in which females control the chances of a male sperm inseminating her eggs, known as cryptic female choice, has mainly been associated with internal fertilisation. But this research now suggests that females can control external fertilization, opening up a completely new line of inquiry. And the researchers add that the study will help understand the impact on the species of variations in habitats, such as climate change.